Hello, I'm Entrilisim and welcome to Let's Play a preview of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. So if like me, you're a fan of Battlestar Galactica and you like strategy games, this game is pretty much that. It is a game where you command the warships of either the Cylons or of course of the uh, the Capricorns or the Picons or whatever, basically the humans. And then you get to fight it out in turn-based space combat. Now, this is actually set in the old Battlestar Galactic series rather than the new one. So, the one that was in, I think it was like the, was it the early 90s or something? I remember seeing a few episodes when I was really, really young, but it's not my speciality. However, Battlestar Galactica, so I certainly want to give it a damn good try. Now, bear in mind, this is a beta work in progress. It's very much a preview copy right now. It came with a whole list of, by the way, all these things are in progress or bugged, and we're working on them. Which is fine, like it's not a retail release just yet. If you're worried about retail release, that's something to look at near the time. For now, we're just going to look at, is it, you know, is it looking like it might be fun? And we're going to dive in with a new campaign. So, we're going to play on uh, Commander difficulty, because that seems like a medium one. One of the things they're definitely still working on, by the way, is campaign difficulty balancing. Like, that is the last thing you pretty much do on a campaign. You've got all the assets, you've got the talky stuff, and then you just try and work out what is a fair difficulty. So, this might end up being too hard or too easy, I have no idea, but that is something they're definitely finalizing. So we might still get murdered on a medium difficulty, because After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the 12 colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime, and the lifetimes sure. of our children. Sure, totally it's gonna happen. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. Those are the old fashion based stars that weren't like spiky, they were round. Two source sections with a little bit The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. Hello Galactica. Look, you're not new and fresher, because in the newer TV series, of course, Galactica is old, having finished this war in a stalemate. The first, Galactica, was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Caprica, Caprica, Caprica. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Pycon's capital cities were devastated by silent assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to operations commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on Pycon. The war room awaits your arrival, Commander. It's spelled Daedalus in a kind of a weird way. Definitely wasn't the original Greek. Because, like, well, obviously it's not the original Greek because it's in Latin characters. Sneezing. Not sneezing. Oh, I'm allergic to silence. Anyway. Pycon's battle star is almost ready to deliver. But Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Oh. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the battle star Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. Okay, so we have to defeat the Cylons here so that we can jump to Pycon and defend them. Cool. So, this is kind of the basic where you start in the campaign. You have this little map which shows you where your different battles are taking place. And then you fight your battles, I guess. Welcome to the Daedalus War Room, Commander. From this table, you will guide the course of the Colonial Fleet during your early years of the First Cylon War. The fate of the Twelve Colonies and the future humanity will be shaped by your actions here. Okay, that's like a base that we're building stuff at. And I guess this is Scorpia, or is this Scorpia and that's 
Pycon, I can't tell. Scopper is the best colony, by the way. Let's proceed. Your little vipers. No. It's time to make our presence known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need my instruction twice. Tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy. Okay. Use Wazda to move the camera. Or use the arrow keys. Colony use projection to move the unit. To rotate the camera, use Q or E or mouse. Okay, cool. So, turns in this game happen simultaneously. So when we hit end turn, they'll have done the same thing and they will move as we move. So instead of being one after the other, you can actually have them take place at the same time. Which I think I prefer for this sort of strategic combat. Adjust the yaw and elevation. Too much yaw will cause engine stress and reduce the unit's maneuverability next turn. Okay, so we can have up and down. And if we do yaw too much, it will get damaged in the engine. Proceed when you're confident with your commands. Okay. Combat is divided into command phases and simulation phase. All units resolve their movements simultaneously using good spacing to prevent fatal collisions. Fair enough. Those are the only two units I have? Yeah, these are... What class are these? Manticore class. They're basically scouts. They really don't have much in the way of uh, weaponry. They do have... Is this guided missiles or something? I think they've got, like, guided missiles. That's about it. We've got the shipyard, which doesn't really have anything on it. Cool. End turn. Our ships use fire control systems to automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. Turrets will be less accurate the smaller or further away their target is. You can access Ooh, the ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. Right click on a unit to select it and press space to access ship command. Right, so if they're going to go this way, we're going to maybe set ourselves up like that. And then we can use space to bring this up, and we can use repair subsystem, posture, fire guided missiles, turrets. Let's click turrets. Firing arcs determine if an enemy ship is within range of the ship's turrets. So the Manticore only has a rear and a front turret. Okay, so we've got to keep them in the front arc. That's a light turret, and that one's a proper cannon. Very high, actually very low. Damage is one, whereas on the back it's high, medium accuracy as opposed to very low. It only does half damage. Use the focus fire ability to target a specific enemy with a great precision. Okay, we we'll target this enemy since it's the only enemy. Nemesis. It's a nice evil looking ship, isn't it? That does look pretty badass. Right. And then you, I think, will just go like a really short distance. Just keep you in front. And we will focus fire. I can't use my guided missiles at the moment. I think the game's going to teach me about them in a second. Can't move that either. Okay, end turn. So you can see their front is ticking down, that's their front armor. Once you're through their armor, you'll start doing damage to their hull. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Sir, we've got a new Dreadus contact. Oh. Dreadus IFF confirms the contact is a silent corvette. Scanning for further intelligence. Once identified, select enemy to see its data. These Cylon corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus your turrets on one side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. Okay. These ships also have long-range guided munitions, useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Right-clicking you to select it and press space, or orb select it and press space, okay. Fire guided missile, Mr. yes. Prepped. And then also yes. Oh, and we can use this. Right, so this is the, do you want to focus on defense? 
Um, nothing or just attack. So if you focus on defense, I think your radar range, your Dreadus range gets longer. And you're less likely to be hit or you repair damage or something. Uh, I have found that ships, whatever they're doing on defense, they're doing it really well. They tend to survive a lot longer. Whereas if you go attack, you're more likely to get, you know, pretty decent hits, but you're going to take a lot of damage. So, yeah, we'll focus on attack. I want to try and defeat this one really quick. Missiles incoming. No! No, don't send missiles at me! Okay, we've hit their right shield a lot. Oh, ow. Commander, your ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. Right click on a unit or select it and press space to access command. Repair subsystem. Tell the engineering crews aboard those ships to hotfix what they can. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. Select the damaged tech based subsystem to repair. Because it's down to 18 out of 20 health. Okay. Now we can't fire a guided missile scenario three turns. It's a shame. You are damaged on the front, right, and rear, but not on the left. So you're probably going to spin around to show your left side. That's my guess, at least. On it, Commander. On it, Commander. Your front is damaged. Your left is a bit damaged. You're going to take more damage on the left as those missiles come in. Uh, but we should be good. Just keep going. Keep focusing on that. You're missing hilariously. That's a Southern pretty large miss. Not, not good. Not good at all. And you are behind me, so technically I think our rear guns should be firing on you. Turn you like that. And then... You like that. M to enter tactical map. Okay, use technical map to keep track of enemy positions. Fair enough. I don't really need the technical map. Like, you can zoom out here pretty nicely. End turn. I've played a fair amount of skirmish in this. I've played probably like a couple of hours now. Uh, I haven't played campaign yet. So, I literally loaded up the campaign to check it worked. Are you dead yet? 13 health? I don't know if you're breaking off to attack the shipyard or if you're just coming around behind us. I'm going to stress the engines, and I'm going to turn after you. Understood. Got your hull down to four. Just four. Damn it. Come on, that rear gun. No, it's got its left side facing us. We'll also need to dive, because we've got a lot of height. There we go. Oh, missiles! Uh, they can't turn quick enough. They're having trouble hitting me. They're going to hit me here. Uh, right, in which case, we are going to fire our missiles. This should take you out. Unless I hit top or bottom, because you're pretty low. And you... Oh, wait, no. You were targeting you. On their way. And you were going to target you. Understood. You also need to keep diving. Have you taken damage to the rear? A little bit. This is going to hurt then. Yep. Is taking We're damage. taking hull damage. This is still en route. I think we've got a pretty good chase going on here, though. Oh, we need to repair our tech bay. Now, we don't have to repair our tech bay doing the space thing. We can just hit that there for repair. Fire control. Okay, repair fire control. And we'll chase after you some more. Yes, sir. 
And this time, we'll focus fire. Oh, I can't focus fire if the fire control is being repaired. There we go. Did it explode? Oh, kill! We got a kill! You know what? We'll use boost thrusters here. So we can go further if we use the boost thruster. But it stops us from getting the bonuses here, I think. I'm not sure if we can attack when we're using boost thrusters. But I think the most important point is to be able to close the distance so we can get in behind. Because if we get in the rear, they have no armor on their rear. Yeah, we don't seem to be attacking at the moment. Oh, no, we are attacking. Pretty violent turn they took. Right, we've got no armor on our left. We've got no armor on our right. So if we keep our starboard to them, if we need a front gun. On it, Commander. Oh, we'll do that. Focus fire. So say we all. Okay, try doing that. Oh, missiles! No! Okay, the front. Oh. Whoa. 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 No, you collided with me. Contacts are down. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. No, we were totally going to win that, but then they went for the collision. God damn it. That is a dirty maneuver right there. Okay, actually 54%. Actually 54%. Yeah, the one that inflicted the most damage by far. Look at that. 77 compared to 240. I mean, I guess maybe it took into effect the collision damage at the end. Probably. Either way, watch this. Like, it, oh, it takes a bit of damage here. And at the end, last turn, collision. Not good. Okay. But we won. That's the important part. Commander. But we still have work to do. From the strategy index, you can manage your fleets, view mission briefings, and find locations on the table. To access a mission briefing, select it from the strategy index or click on the mission marker. So here's our mission marker, Chapter 2, Athena on PyCon. Fires continue to burn across PyCon, estimated casualties exceed 50,000. And later on, we can build ships, officers, economy, blueprint. Ooh! And we've got Tilium and resource points. And our quorum is 12 out of 16. Okay. I don't think I can actually access any of the other stuff right now, so we'll do do Athena. Kane has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the Admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the top job of Colonial Fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Kaikon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to Pycon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. Okay, so the Athena is the same. It's like a, a Galactica class. Well, a Jupiter class. Battle Star. We get Tilium and Requisition Points. Awesome. Let's do it. So we click on you. We've got the Perseus and the Daedalus. Jump to PyCon. Confirm jump. End turn. The battle queue lists all the skirmishes and missions that need to be resolved before the start of the next turn. Okay, so this. Proceed. 
So you move multiple fleets around and you end up in battles, etc. as you try to... Okay, that's cool. The shipyard carrier has vipers and raptors. Okay. And the manticore has guided missiles. Click on unit project uh, units. Click on unit projections to reposition your fleet during FTL insertion. Orbit the FTL insertion grid by holding right mouse button. Okay, so that's going to be the shipyard, and then this is our ship. Okay. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Jump complete. Dratus contact sparing 017, Karam 021. Pycon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. Presumably just the silence. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. Okay, and we do actually have the Jupiter coming out of dock now. Notice how slow the Jupiter class is. It is slow! It does, however, have two lots of Vipers and guided missiles. Right. We're looking at one, two, three enemies. My plan is to try and hit them before they can group. So if we can... I mean, if we boost, do we go particularly far? A little bit, maybe. We'll also deploy both our Raptor squadrons. So Raptors, if you don't know, are basically space fighters. <coughs> <laughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, space fighters. Basically, they run around and they shoot things with guns. Yes, Commander. Probably just using them for defense right now, but I don't know. If they have enemy space fighters, then we'll end up having a space fighter combat or something. Alright, end turn. Straight hard turn out of dock. <gasps> the fighter's coming out. There we go. Not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. Right click a unit or select it and press space to access command. Posture. The defensive posture ensures the ship's defense oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. I have to take the boost thrusters off, so I actually can't. It's fine. We're already doing that. We're cool. We're cool. Now, raptors. Select target. Select target. We'll get them to do attack runs on this enemy. Not sure what this enemy is yet, because they're actually not in Dreadus range. They should be in Dreadus range now, because we've upped our Dreadus range. Oh, hello. Yeah, those are enemy fighters. Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. I already launched them. Squadrons. Launch your squadrons. I already did. We're cool. This tutorial requires a launch squadron to continue. Uh Maybe? I think I may have broken it. Uh right, that's why it's a preview copy. Right, move you back to here. I just seem to it does seem to have skipped it. Right, okay, so we might be okay now. I've put them on defend, so they're now defending the Battle Star. And the other one's defending the Manticore from this incoming enemy. War Driver. Okay, I have no idea what you do, but you don't sound good. Maybe we should attack you en route. Select target. Select target. There we go. And we're going to turn off the boost, I think. 
The fire guided missiles at Nemesis. Good. Yes, Commander. Focus fire on the Nemesis. Missiles on the Nemesis. Okay. Okay, the Nemesis has a special ability which allows it to hack ships. It's hacked our battle star, unfortunately, which kind of decreases its abilities. Use squadrons to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. Eh. We're doing okay for now, taking on these war drivers. Yeah, they're nearly dead. Not much we can do about these missiles, so... For now... So say we all. Use fighter squadrons like the Viper Mountain One to attack enemy cavalry ships and squadrons and stuff. Uh, squadrons will be used to defend from hostile fighters and incoming missiles. Okay, defend the Jupiter because there are incoming missiles there. Whereas you need to keep attacking the Wardrobe Squadron because they're nearly dead. Oh, anyway, we killed the Wardrobe Squadron. And we're now shooting down missiles. Yeah, look at those missiles go! That one might get through. Oh, one's going to get through. It's not much. You can also switch to being, like, super attacky. Decrease your speed a little bit. A battle star is being hacked. Yeah, stop hacking me. That's why I'm shooting this dude. Come on! Fracking toasters. One turn left on our cooldown on our missiles. Okay, we should probably send the Vipers out to attack the Talon. It's got almost zero front armor. Damn. Like, its front armor is tiny. Look at that. Max stat's 20, whereas the left and the right and the top and bottom are like 65. Okay, in which case I have a plan. It's a cunning plan. What we'll do is we'll just keep running away from it and then we'll fire missiles backwards at its front. Yes, Commander. Also focus fire on the Talon with you. Focus fire on the Nemesis with you. I also want to check you. On it, Commander. And check your turrets. You don't actually have a rear turret. Oh well. It'll do for now. Actually it won't. There's no point in you shooting focused on someone you can't hit. Yes, the nemesis might go down this turn. Yeah! That looks pretty Commander, badass. I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Assuming that's a nemesis, Backstars then. Are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. Right, so, flak. Flak ammunition creates an area of effect that will damage fighters and destroy munitions. Turret groups using flak ammunition do not have the regular firing arcs. Okay, so this will prevent us from actually shooting. Warning friendly squadron active, so we'd end up hitting friendly squadrons. I'm actually going to cancel flak then. I assume that it's telling me that because they fired missiles or something? Either way, we're going to do some quick turns. I'm going to fire missiles off. 
Missile at the talon. Prepped. Also, focus fire on the talon as well. Right. And don't climb each other, that would be bad. Okay, here we go. My tactic looks like it's worked. They've got 19 hit points left. Close. Yes, Commander. There we go, nice. There, oh god, don't hit my ship. Don't hit my ship. Oh, you're actually way over the top. We're good, we're good. Sir, PyCon Intel just confirmed that Admiral McKinley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. With Admiral Sarkis still missing aboard Galactica, Admiral Kane remains the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. McKinley was a good commander and a good soldier. We honor his memory today. So say we all. So say we all. Say we all. Okay, uh, in which case, fire control needs repairing. Sure. Focus fire. And then also select target. We'll get you to be like really offensive with the raptors. Yes, sir. So now, in theory, we can pin them in front of us. Just don't ram my Jupiter class, because that would be bad. Athena needs to survive. I'm pretty sure that must be like a mission objective. Destroy the... Oh, it doesn't actually say that the Jupiter needs to survive. I kind of prefer it to survive because I'm pretty sure that you need to keep the fleet alive to do the next mission with the same fleet. On it, Commander. Start repairing the fire control when you guide munitions. No, oh, yours is still on cooldown. Hmm. Okay. Right, rear arm is down. Beautiful. Hold down to seven. Manticore. Munitions. Okay. It's going to end turn straight away since they're so low health. And there we go! No, no, don't do that! Oh god, Ooh. I was worried for a moment. I think the, mi the missiles just be like, oh, there's no target. We'll just default to firing off wherever. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with PyCon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. No. We've been notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. Manticore inflicted much more damage. Although, admittedly, you had fight damage as well. So, that's fair. I've actually found, by the way, in the skirmish, whenever I try and use a Jupiter class, it always underperforms. I don't know why. Maybe it's just that they're still balancing the Jupiter class, but I've found them absolutely terrible. Cylons are so powerful. If you put 8,000 points of Cylons versus 8,000 like 8, points versus humans, uh, the sun has wiped the floor of them every time. Like, I've managed to get enough damage to maybe take down half to maybe five-eighths of their fleet before dying as humans. But that's my best. Just Cylons are so damn tough. As Cylons, I can defeat the Cylons quite easily. Still unbalancing. This is like still preview, right? So don't worry about that. Admiral, Commander. Okay. We have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning. What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's Clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're going to need more ships. Sinan's taken up Yards 1 and 2 for the Jupiter-class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having a half-built battle stars if we can't defend them. 
New ships are built from Deedlist shipyards. Okay. Build ship manticore. Ships cost time and time to build. Okay. Okay. We've got the manticore hull underway, but let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. It costs 108 to build and it'll take two turns. Or you can rush it for 342? I don't want to press this button, but the tutorial makes me. I really don't want to press this button. Oh my god, I don't want to press this button. Your brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. How? <sighs> Units will create their own fleets when finished and can be merged with an existing fleet group at the same location. Can I rename you? No. Transfer. Sir, Thumb. we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. And that would be our next chapter. That will have to be, however, next time. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this look at a preview of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. If you're liking the look of the game, let me know down below. If you like the video, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Certainly let me know your thoughts down below if you want me to play more, if you want me to play less, if you want me to... I have no idea. Juggle. I... I'm very rusty on juggling. Uh, but yeah, no, just give me feedback down below. It's always really good to know if you want me to actually play more of a certain game or if you're liking a certain series and also because sometimes I punch the microphone. Sorry about that. But also because YouTube requires it for his internal algorithms or whatever. But uh, yeah, so until next time, I've been at Elysium. Hopefully you've liked this quick look at the preview. Until next time, stay shiny.